So now you might ask which method it's uh, I choose number three just like this without any uh, scientific uh, approach or scientific background so I just uh, quickly I thought that uh, let's uh, check uh, the percentage of the uh, error or how much this how much this predicted data it's uh, deviated from uh, was deviated, deviated from the original data uh, so now you can write this code actually it's very simple I just wrote it based on the uh, logical assumption I came to the original data so I said I want I want to subtract the original data minus the imputed data the one I choose number three okay so I want just to see the difference what why I am putting this here because whenever we are doing minus or multiplications we have a string or factor it will create a problems for us which just we need a numeric we are focusing on a numeric data now so you will create this for the matrix uh, choose all the rows and except column number nine which is represent the events here also except the events okay so now you can see and why you put abs this is the absolute value i want all of them to be positive okay so now if you check a if you check the head of a it will just show you the okay so this is the difference between the original data and the imputed data so you can see here for example and this is the imputed data let's just uh, show the imputed data and the complete complete number three okay head number ten okay and also because we subtract the whether original from so I want to see also the original original all right okay so you can notice here for example the first three cells here 14 14 14 13 this is for the completed and the original also 14 14 so this is minus this one it will give us zeros here okay so wherever there is a value you should know that this is uh, a value that it was a missing so if we come to precipitation to number seven number seven in precipitation we go here number seven precipitation yes it was missing and in the original in the original data precipitation number seven it was 11 okay while in the predicted it is zero so that's why the difference now it's 11 and so on so this is now uh, actually if in precipitation uh, data i fill it manually because the original data as you remember from the website it was zero so I don't rely on precipitation because it was uh, even it was it has zero value so this is I added manually so I don't follow this one I just follow the rest of the data and I can see very nice uh, zeros here we don't have any differences between the original and the imputed almost zeros okay so let's make it as a value how much is the error value uh, so you can follow in this way in a very easy way so what you do you just take the uh, sum of one value for example if you want to follow the uh, due uh, law if you just sum up all the variable values okay divided by the uh, original okay so now this is the difference this is the difference between the original and the imputed divided by the original very simple equation 
okay it will show you how much percentage of the error okay so we have 25 percent error for example in temperature we have how much oh very low very low so almost nothing so almost perfect the prediction of the temperature almost perfect so in this case if you are more interested in the temperature viewpoint or high temperature low temperature you can just check in this very simple code here so now we fill out the data using uh, the embedded the data using mice function you can try again change this order you can change the number to four if you like and you can run again change this one to four let's run okay this if you like to check as you like okay now i want to make this i want to check the weather with the number four okay so now make uh, value of a okay with the viewpoint how much 26 how much here it was 25 okay so that's me the selection of number three before it was better than number four and that's it. that's how you can choose until you find the lowest uh, difference here you can take it if you don't have uh, original data and this is make more sense because we don't have the original data always we have the missing data so you can take any of those values you can see the difference is not that much uh, huge end of the way you want to save now your uh, new data with the completed so write dot csv okay x it's your completed data completed data the one that we choose number four or number three as well as you like and this is the file name i will call it mice and then false okay oh yeah so no need for a pen here so hold it again. okay yes so you can you find that mice it's here already and you open it okay so now you have all the okay and fill up with the missing data it's all fill up so this is the first method using mice now we will move to the next method using h m i s 